Apple's iPhone event is just days away where we're gonna see the full iPhone 14 lineup and the new Apple Watch, but we just got a bombshell leak that changes everything about the iPhone 14 Pro's design, and we were not expecting this at all, but it actually makes sense with some new leaks that came out explaining why Apple made this decision. So let me show you guys, check this out. We just got the rumor on Wednesday saying that the iPhone 14 Pro display cutouts could appear as a single wide pill shape when turned on. Look at that right there in the image, a single wide pill shape. Yes, not the old version with the dual cutouts with one being circular and the other being pill shaped, which we all got used to and we all expected. No, it's getting completely changed to this wide pill. And that's exactly what we can see right here from a Chinese Weibo post. That's what we got used to. That is what we are getting, which really looks weird right now, but I think we're all gonna get used to it. And the crazy thing is, Shrimp Apple Pro on Twitter was the first one to show off that dual cutout leak way long ago. And you can see right here, he said that he doesn't think the full pill of the iPhone 14 Pro is happening. All the leaks and rumors point towards the pill plus whole design. We even have a real image of the glass panel. Now that was back on August 30th. And he came back the next day saying that, no, it's not gonna be a big pill, which it looks like at that moment he was actually wrong because on Wednesday, we got an exclusive Mac Rumors forum post by an anonymous user saying that his Apple engineer buddy says that it's gonna be hidden via software. The pill plus hole is gonna be hidden and it's gonna look like an elongated pill shape as you can see right here, boom. And making it even better, Mark Gurman, the most reliable Apple leaker, came out and said that yes, indeed, it will look like one wide pill, as you can see in this tweet right here. So of course, because of that, I asked renders by Shailesh, which makes a lot of renders for us, to update them to show what it's gonna look like in real life with this bronze color and this new dark blue-ish color. And as you can see, it actually looks really, really nice. It feels a bit weird, but I think we're gonna love it over time, so definitely follow Renders by Shalesh on Twitter. And just to give you an example of what it could look like in your hands, the Apple Hub posted this render, which actually, it looks pretty sick now that you're looking at it in somebody's hand. Now I know what a lot of you guys are gonna say, why would Apple make the whole dual punch cutout in the first place? Like this Mac Rumors forum user, Torx, who said, why not just cut out a pill instead of disabling pixels inside of that little section that's gonna end up being black. Now, I had that question as well, and it looks like the leakers actually revealed it. According to a source from 9to5Mac, as you can see, the Apple Hub reposted it, Apple is gonna be relocating the privacy indicators into the dead space inside the pill-shaped cutout on the iPhone 14 Pro, and they're also working on a redesigned camera app. So you can see right here, the little indicators that you have when you're recording your screen or something's recording the microphone or the camera, it's gonna be moved on the inside, which makes total sense for Apple to make use of that space instead of the current method where they kind of have it up in the corner and it's kind of hard to see. This is going to be easy to see specifically because of this new leak that said that the privacy indicators in the pill-shaped cutout are going to be brighter than the rest of the display similar to the Mac camera LED and the source actually said that it's gonna be much brighter than the rest of the display with them using some sort of HDR content to make it look very, very bright to make sure that even if you're outside with maximum brightness, you're still gonna see those indicators, which is gonna help for privacy. And I actually tweeted about this saying that, okay, now this makes sense because if on the actual glass panel, they blacked out the section in between both cutouts, then you wouldn't be able to see those indicators, so they had to leave it open. Like you can see in this display panel leak, where you do have both of these cutouts with that space open. They had to do that because if they just fully painted it black, obviously those indicators wouldn't be visible. So what if this was Apple's master plan the entire time and then nobody figured it out until now? And the nice thing about this leak is that we did get confirmation from Shrimp Apple Pro that yes, he was a little bit wrong, but kind of not because they can just turn off that section in software and technically, on the hardware itself, it's still a pill plus hull. So he's kind of admitting that, yes, 
it is gonna be done using software and he agrees with the elongated pill-shaped cutout. And now on top of that, let's finish off with a couple of more rumors. We got another one saying that once again, Apple is gonna be increasing the storage to 256 gigs on the Pro models, which we were going back and forth, back and forth, and now we're getting more saying it's 256, so I'm honestly not sure what to expect in terms of that. But somebody on the Mac Rumors forum made a good point, Kontako, as he said that, let's not forget the debacle of ProRes being only available on devices 256 gigs and up. So of course, with the 8K video camera coming, it might actually make sense for Apple to start with 256 so everybody has access to that feature without any limitations. So I'm really hoping for that. Now, let's get into the next section that I wanna talk about, and that is the new regular iPhone 14 model, which we thought was gonna be the 14 Max for the longest time. It's basically just the 14 with a larger display and larger battery. Now we're getting some rumors that it's gonna be the Plus, and they started with Tommy Boy on Twitter when he posted this tweet where he zoomed in and this says iPhone 14 Plus on what looks to be an official case on a display. So he kept looking into it and he kept finding more evidence that, hey, look, here's another case, iPhone 14 Plus. Here's more cases from other case makers where it says 14 Plus. So apparently the case makers were informed recently that it's not gonna be 14 Max. Whoever said that, they wanted to make sure that they're gonna be saying 14 Plus. And he keeps showing more and more 14 Plus cases from different vendors, as you can see here. ESR gear, more vendors saying 14 plus. So it's looking more and more like this is gonna happen. And then of course, 9to5Mac did come out with some additional evidence where they confirmed with their own separate sources that yes, it's gonna be iPhone 14 plus and not Macs. Now let's try to make some sense of that. Well, first of all, Apple has been using the Max branding for kind of their best of the best products. Of course, they have their iPhone 14 Pro Max, which is their largest, but also their best. But the real interesting piece of info is that they have their Mac lineup, like this 16 inch MacBook Pro, where they have the M1 Pro and M1 Max chips. So in this case, Max is meant to be like the best of the best, the most powerful. And in that case, maybe Apple doesn't want to brand the regular iPhone 14 as the Max because then you'll think that you're getting the best of the best when you really you're not. So maybe it makes sense to just make it the 14 plus because you're getting the regular 14, all the same features, it's just plus sized, but you're not getting all the Max best of the best features, which you can only get on the highest end iPhone 14 Pro Max. And I think that actually makes sense from a marketing perspective for Apple. Now, if you disagree with me, let me know down in the comment section below. But if you enjoyed this video, click the circle above to subscribe because that Apple event is gonna be amazing in just a couple of days. I am so excited and we're gonna cover a bunch of stuff. So thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.